I think we should be good to go. Hi, everyone. Yep, we are. We are live and great to go. God, the old moule is coming into form. Crikey, I'll have to sort that one out at some stage. Um, good morning, team. Nice, continuous session for you today. Um, we'll do a countdown. I'm just looking back on the uh, on the list of all the workouts that we've got, uh, and I didn't see a countdown for a long way. So I was like, right, one of my faves. It's a very, very simple one. Um, it's a great way to knock out a bit of time. 36 minutes, I think, if my maths is good. Yep. Um, and, yeah, and we'll just be able to get into a steady rhythm, row it all the way home, okay? It's very, very simple. Um, as you'll see, it's a nice, easy-ish, should I say, easy-ish, uh, countdown where we do the majority of the work are uh, quite low. Yes, the um, the last 15 minutes, we start getting up, you know, 23, 24 and above, um, but it's not too bad, okay? The majority of that, that bulk, more than half of it is sort of below 22. Um, and so really, it's just about rhythm. Continuous, good flow, we're just going to roll along um, and just focus on, on all the bits and pieces that we're going to keep working on, break it all down, focus, okay? Basically, it'll be good because we'll set it up as a variable interval, as I think we've done in the past. So as each time check just slips down, we will be able to just keep a good focus on each check. Do this, then do that, then do that, okay, all the way through. Um, and then as we start sort of bumping up the ratings, it'll just be holding that rhythm um, and just looking for that consistency, okay? It's pretty simple. Um, so, yeah, that's us. Okay, it should be a good little session. Um, and uh, yeah, no better time. Better not waste any more time. I'm going to finish my coffee uh, and then we'll get into it. Choice. Okay, here we go. Oh, who does not love a coffee in the morning? Right, that's over there. Uh, good. Right. Uh, morning, Robro. How are you, pal? Good to see you back here, as always, trudging along. Um, okay, so just warm up in your own time, a um, couple of minutes, just getting loose, doing what we need to to, uh, to, to get ready, okay, just for that 20. A couple of minutes should be fine. Oh, she is a bit tight today, okay. As always, just play it by ear. Put yourself into your own rhythm. Stretch it out. Build up the stroke. Okay, and then just slowly add that pressure over these two or three minutes. To get ourselves into that position. Go okay, nice with that compression. Just allow ourselves time to get that, get the ankle stretched, calf muscles stretched. Feel the hips, so we can get that weight forward. Allow ourselves to get that rhythm. Even now, I just start feeling in our arms. The control that we have with a little bit of patience in the in the handle to feel that speed that it's traveling back, okay? It's always good in these warm-ups to be able to just take note of the speed that the handle travels and then the relationship between that handle and that seat from here. Okay? Once we're out over the knees, does it move together? Is the handle straight too far forward or is it a little bit back and then we're going? Okay, it's a really good one to focus right from here. We should feel like we're in a nice position to be set for the front without being stiff and, and sort of blocky. 
okay? Because we, when we're stiff like that, we hold ourselves out from being a little bit supple, which then allows us to come into the front and allows that compression to just happen quite naturally through the muscles, okay? When we're stiff and we're tense, because we think we've got to get into this position, we just hold ourselves out from being just a little bit supple and have that give forgiveness in the body, okay? Yes, we want to be set and we want to be in a nice position ready to take the load and everything that we're getting through the drive, okay? But we don't need that with muscle tension to be like this, okay? We want to be straight, we want to be relaxed. And that's the key, that relaxation and that good form that we've got. Okay? So, this is last sort of 30 odd seconds. Now that we're in a good rhythm, we've got a good flow. It's smooth. We can feel the hands, we can feel our chain getting taken forward. We can just press on slightly. Nice. Okay, and we'll do another few strokes. Boom. Okay. Should be plenty. Okay. Um, always in that warm up, just work into it, right? Because I'm, I don't know, I've always had issues with flexibility especially in my ankles, you know, and to just work it in, let them stretch, you know, up through the legs so we can get up in here and so we can finally get to that position where we do have nice, you know, shins, but we're not trying to hold it down. We're actually just we're allowing that ankle to just do its own movement and this flexibility here without, and okay, if we are a bit tight, just think about the length. Don't think about too far with the body. Okay, just naturally come up to that position that, that it's there and just do it by rolling in, okay? Today, really focus as we're coming forward. We have a watch. Okay, once we're out here, this and this should travel basically at the same speed. Okay, think about that as we roll in there and we can use that, that last little bit here, that deceleration as we come into the front to change direction just here and away, okay? If we're too fast with the hands and then and then we get out of sync and then we go for more or we're out of sync, that's way too far forward and then the seat tucks underneath, okay? It's really it's a really good focus to think about this and this all the way into here together, okay? And that gives you that nice point of there around the front, that change in direction, okay, without coming in and going, need more, or getting in there, and oh, I'm not, you know. So think about that. Be a good one. Right. Let's rip into it. Let's rip into this. Okay, so this time we're going to do a variable interval, a variable interval, I should say. Okay, so interval one. So select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals variable. So the first interval, okay, we go time. Take that up to eight minutes. Okay, so there's no break in this. We're going to go solid all, all the way. Now, if you feel like you do need to take a drink at some stage, that's up to you. Um, otherwise, and just try and quickly take a drink. Five seconds, bang, straight back into it. Okay, so first interval says eight minutes. Don't do anything with the rest time. Very, very simple. Take it to eight minutes, and then we press the checkbox. Done. Okay, you can see where this is going. And then we go to time. We just subtract one from the time, seven minutes, press the checkbox, then we press time, we subtract another minute, so it's six minutes is flashing, press the checkbox, time, five minutes, press the checkbox, press time again, now we do four minutes, press the checkbox, time again, three minutes, press the checkbox, time again, press the 
minus. Now we should have see two minutes flashing. Checkbox. And so we should say interval eight. We press time. We subtract it. Now we've got one minute flashing. Now we press the checkbox. That's us. Okay. We should it should say interval nine at the top, even though we don't have interval nine. No more intervals. Okay. Press that. We're good to go. All set. Ready to rock and roll. Okay. We're going to break it down as always. Good focus. And it's just a really nice continuous row. Starts starts increasing that sort of last last 10 minutes i think we'll be we'll be starting to sort of get a little bit more flow and working with the speed of the machine okay so without mucking around too much longer let's go okay sitting tall set and ready are you ready attention row Okay, just get into the rhythm. Once we start moving in, once we've got our rate, once we feel comfortable with our slide distance, okay, then we can just roll forward. And just start thinking about this continuous motion, okay? Our ratio. We move the hands around the back. We let the chain and that handle take us forward. Okay, this is good. And we can just really start to focus on the smoothness of the movements, okay? Especially at 20 rate. We feel that take up around the catch. We roll in. A like bit of patience right there. Okay, not in a hurry to get there and then get take it out really quickly. Okay. Remember that force that is created through the stroke, okay? You feel that push. And then sit back with the body. One smooth piece of pressure, which is against both feet. We're squeezing the lemons not smashing them off the front, okay? Press. Nice body motion. Okay, this is good. Good roll. rhythm. Really nice. Okay. Feel that relaxation as we come forward. Okay. Feel what the feet are doing in your shoes. Or if you're bare feet like me, whatever. Feel it. Feel how there is that pressure against the toes. As we finish and start to come around. Okay? We're not strong enough to hold it there by ourselves. So yes, we do use a little bit of momentum there with the feet to feel that change in direction there. Okay? Help us move our body back while the chain is also traveling and wanting to go back into the housing. 
Good. Nice. Okay. Really smooth here. We should be onto a good pressure. Sustainable pressure. And then off that, everything that we do, <clears throat> cause and effect, okay? Have a look. We change something. We feel something. What effect does that have on our speed? Does it make it go quicker, slower, indifferent, okay? Taking note. So back onto those feet, have a feel. As they change, remember, we feel that pull against the toe, then they float in the shoe, and then we feel that compression as we get to the front. All while keeping everything, feeling like it's below our shoulders, okay? Don't want to feel like we're up in here, below the shoulders, down into the body, okay? All the pressure, trying to stay out of the traps. Okay, really down underneath. This is good. Okay, feel that pressure of the push. Make it smooth. Feeling as we push away, we leave the handles out the front. Feel like we leave them behind, okay? So as we push, it's like, shit, I've left my handle out the front. And it will come back to us, okay? Make the feeling like it's about here to here rather than this from the drive, okay? Too often we go, I've got to make the handle, I've got to make the handle come back to me. It's where all the power's created, whatever, okay? This is just a connector that connects us through to the flywheel, okay? So we want to leave the handle and as the flywheel starts getting its revolutions back up, then we let that handle come to us. Okay, focus on that for a bit. Long arms, leave them out, feel the hand. Good. Okay, keep that focus, long hand, long arms, armpits, keeping it nice and low into the body, through the lats, use our body size and our potential for our body weight to help that creation, to help what the legs are producing to then Slip back through the stroke. Okay. First time check. Seven minutes. There we are. So let's just free it up a little bit. Okay. We're only going up one point. But we do just need to move just a tad quicker. Okay. It's not much. So just focus on a little bit more freedom, moving the hands a little bit quicker. Don't worry too much if the rating jumps around a bit, okay? It's quite hard to just get that one point increase and maintain it, okay? So here we are, following through. Nice.
Okay, back onto the flow forward. Huge amount of the, the stroke and your speed and your ability to stay consistent. It's down to what we do when we're not pushing, when we're not under pressure, okay? The ability to get set up in the front, the ability to be comfortable in a nice position is all about this part here. We get ourselves ready, set. Okay, if we're not set, if we're tucked, anything like this. Okay, we can never get the potential out of our bodies that we're looking for. And if we do it well, we should be quite relaxed this way. So we can put ourselves under pressure on the drive. Okay, that's the work-rest ratio you'll always hear me talk about. Okay, nice. So good pressure. Good rhythm around the back. Good flow forward. Nice. Keeping that tension when we are in the stroke, when we've got the pressure. Okay, it's just hang tension here. So we keep it under the armpit. Down in the lats, try and release any tension up here when we grab it, okay? Don't want to see this really low under here, there, hang low. Okay, one way to think about that. Nice flat chain right through here to the bottom of the sternum. Chain doesn't go up. Okay, we don't do too much with the hands coming forward, okay, to do this. Nice and flat, let the chain dictate there, going back. Good, open out, feel that sit back through the stroke. Feel that press. Body starts coming and hinging off the feet, off the legs, through the hips. And then the last thing that happens is the handle coming back to us. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, breathing. Nice and smooth. Listen to that flywheel acceleration. Nice. Feel it. Listen to it. Nice, okay, good work. Work on this compression again. Sit up from the back. Good position through here. Supple in the muscle groups. No tension. Don't lock out arms or legs. Okay, keep them straight, but don't lock them out. It's that suppleness that we talk about. Okay, good. Good rhythm. Good flow. Good momentum.
Nice. Patience. Flow forward with me on the feet. This is good. This is a great continuous motion. We're focused on the pressure. We're focused on the relaxation there. Push and hang, okay, armpits. Very nice. Okay, nice rhythm. Trying to hold sustainable splits, okay? Have a look on screen. Find a place that we feel we can hold, okay? Onto the six minutes, 22. So what do we do? We just move, whole stroke. A little bit quicker, handle speed, recovery speed. A little bit more acceleration. And it's only just got to come up a little bit. Good. There it is. Okay. Really smooth. Relaxed. Okay, but let's focus now on this very front turn of changing direction. Because that's the stumbling block. As we get quicker, we're going to be more accurate around here. Okay, we come in and we stop and then go. We're going to slow the flywheel down. We want to be able to try and be smooth enough to roll in and out really easy. Get a really nice change in direction. So we roll with the speed, slight compressed, right there. And then we're moving away with a press, not a hit. Press. And push. Good. Roll, compress, feel that pack up. Good. Nice. Okay, and look. If you think back to two sets ago, we've got better numbers on screen. We're just moving quicker. Staying loose. Trying to make that drive really smooth in the application. The goal, keep the flywheel moving. Minimize the damage and the slow that happens on it. Find the best way for you to make the flywheel revolution get back up, okay? And that is by legs and body, okay? Too much leg, we never get a chance for the body to go, okay? Too much body, we never get a chance for the body and the legs to work together, okay? Starts with the hang, And it is just working on getting the timing. Press, swing. Press and swing. Okay, this is good. Keep working on it. Keep relaxed. Keep breathing. Okay, nice. 
Por ahí que puede. Hands out over the knees. There. Feel, feel the patience. Feel the control. Probably a better word here that the hands are going out. Don't have to be gripped. Too much tension in the hands. We can be loose. We can be relaxed there. Okay, we do have control. Feel that seat. Feel how close it comes up to the ankles. By being in that set position from here. Okay, just feel it. Have a look down. Does it feel like I'm getting to the front and going more? Or am I getting to the front and going tuck? Or am I getting to the front and going, that's all I've got? Wherever that might be. Is it here? Be content with the length that you're able to roll into. Okay? And if it feels like it's short, you're like, damn, I only think I'm getting to there. Work on it, okay? The process, flexibility. Or can I actually just let myself be a little bit more loose to let that seat roll under? <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> right, changing up, 23. Now... So just move a little bit quicker. Okay, all around, hand speed, stride speed. Okay, it's good motion. Nice at 23. Okay, have to keep focused on moving around. Feel that push. And keeping a bit better flow. Okay, so the last 14 minutes or so here, got to keep the hands moving. Got to keep the rhythm as metronomic as possible, as continuous as possible. Good. Nice. That's it. Okay, we're just tapping it along. Moving together. Good rhythm. Okay, forward and back. Feel that squeeze. Feel the hips. Always remembering to leave the arms out. Leave them long. Good. Nice. Smooth. Looking at flywheel speed right there. Okay, don't get there and pause and then go roll in and away. Smooth change, okay? Not a bounce. We don't want to come in and bounce out. Patience. Connect. And then rhythm through the drop. Good. Nice.
Okay, so breathe, relax the facial tension. We start getting tense and tight, especially on the way forward. We transfer that into the rowing, into here. Okay, get out of that. It's all about hang, it's all about the bodies. Being driven by the legs. One smooth, sit back through the stroke. Flat chain, handles twice. Good. Really nice. Really work on this metronomic rhythm. Back and forth. Handles. Brush the body in a way. Speed that the handle comes in. Speed that it starts travelling away. Good. Okay, for the last 10 minutes, rating starting to climb on us. Stay loose and relaxed. Breathe. And be consistent. Yeah. Okay, four minutes at 24. We're starting to get into a ratio that feels like it's one to one. Okay? Not quite, but. We have to travel quite a bit quicker on the way forward. Don't focus on power of drive, focus on speed of drive. Okay? Don't want to be like power. We want to be hang speed through. Speed through. Take up and speed through. Okay, nice with the hands, move them around, good, nice handle speed, good hang, This is nice. Really good. Good motion. There it is. Okay, so we're just rolling with our machine. We've got the speed of the flywheel. The idea is to get back to the front smoothly with the rhythm. Pick it up. And just try and tap that flywheel on again. Okay, good. Forward. Look up. Smooth around. Both tips. Okay, both feet. Feel that symmetry. Straight down the line of the machine. Focus that for a second. Both arms long together. Both feet pressing together. 
Okay, we are dominant. Different sides of the body. Really try and hang. Hold that together. Nice. The rhythm. This is great thing. Okay, breathe and move and float forward. Try and feel that element of relaxation right through here, okay? Find your own breathing rhythm. Work and recover. Okay, three minutes at 25. Now. Okay, so we're just moving that a little bit quicker. Flywheel. Okay, find a nice rhythm. Yep, heart rates are starting to climb. Remember, movements, metronome. Good. Really nice, smooth movement. This is good. push with me, okay? So that pack up roll there. Roll in. Smooth change. No grab. With me. Shake it out. Compression. Like a spring. Push it together and release. Roll, push. Hey, round the finish, don't jam it in, don't go for extra. Rush in a way. Speed around the turn. Okay, this is good. There's only four minutes left. Stay focused. Roll with Smooth. Remember that rhythm around the turn. Arms and hang. Feel it. Good. Hang on. Use that body to open out while we hang long. We let the acceleration of the flywheel and the handle come back to us. Two minutes, 20 steps. Now, remember to tap. Just increasing our, our movement. By increasing our movement, the speed will come up. We'll go far. Good. Control. Hold. Nice and steady. Smooth. Take up. Okay, no hit. Try and stay loose at the front. Palm put hang. Down the lats. And then sit back. Push and swing. Pin through the hips. Nice. 
this is good. Hold this motion. Don't clench the teeth. Tap it along. Okay, trying to pick that flywheel. wheel. Speed that it's rolling. Carry it on. Good. Soft knees around the finish. Handles move out over. Get them away. Nice. Okay. Last minute. Now, okay, so we're just moving quicker, staying loose. This is us. Been a great session. Hang, stay really focused on our rhythm. <clears throat> Metronomic, forward and back. There it is. Nice. Hold this all the way. Okay. Really finish it off well. Focus hang. Push and swing. Okay, great work team, okay, starts building on us there, <laughs> okay, but a really good way to get a nice, nice workout, good time, okay, and if we hold that nice rhythm through the first part, yes, last 10 minutes starts ramping up on us, but it's our ability to stay loose, to stay relaxed, okay? When the body's like, oh, I'm finding this hard, okay? When your body's telling you that, it's where we've got to be really focused on the top two inches, okay? And just be like, no, I'm going to hold it, I'm going to hold it, okay? And it doesn't matter if you start working on things and the speed goes slower, okay? Don't worry anything like that because if we're trying to make changes, we are gonna fluctuate quite a lot. But as long as our focus and the process is there, the more we try, the better we get at it, okay? So, let's take a moment. We'll just start to put a little bit of activeness into our recovery after about 30 seconds or so from here. And then we'll just ride out for a few minutes and then job done. Okay, so just reset your machine if you want. Okay, and we'll just do a couple of minutes here. Just start looking for that length of our stroke. And then feel the connection and just use our body weight, okay? Just feel the push and the swing. So just start to activate the muscles again. Numbers on screen are completely irrelevant here. But we just want to make sure we get that push, we get that swing. Okay. And we can feel a little bit of weight. Okay, and while we do this, feel that chain again. Okay, feel it wanting to zip back into the housing. Okay, and then we can control it with our hands. That's the rhythm that we've got to get as we go through the rates, is at 20, there's control. Okay, when we get up to 26, 28, there's speed. Okay, see the difference? Speed. 
Does it look like I make that happen? No. All I'm doing is releasing and letting it travel. Okay. So we've got control here. And then that, in turn, we feel it through the body. And then now we've got the body coming forward into set position. And then the seat travels forward because we've got control in this position. Okay, this is the set position here. You'll always hear me talk about it, getting off the back to there, okay? Now, my position here is not too dissimilar to that there, okay? But I'm not here and already set and then holding that. It's too blocky, okay? It's too, too rigid and tense. We want to be here, which is about 95, 99%, and then it's as we set forward, as we roll forward, we've got a little bit of give. We've got a little bit of flexibility in our, in our body to come forward to be supple, okay? Like a rope, you know, like you give it and there's a little bit of, of flick in it. We could, it's not completely straight and tense. It's there, okay? It's just a roll. And as we get to the front, we just feel that roll in, connecting away, okay? And as I think I might have said before, but it's, you know, there's a, if you're a younger generation, those bay blades, if you're an older generation, like myself, like a spinning top, right? You got the rope, and you pulled it through, and the spinning top run, went around, right? You can't go straight off the front. What do you do? You crease it through. And that's what happens here on the stroke. Okay? We can't just get it from here. We've got to get it. We've got to roll in. We've got to increase through the middle. Okay? Once that body there is doing that work, that's where it comes. That leg and body timing, okay, is really the biggest factor in speed on the rowing machine. That timing between the leg push to the body swing, okay? Straight away like that, nah. Too much like that, not quite, okay? It's that movement where the legs and body open out. And I think I do it pretty well, okay? Cat could be better, can always be better. We're always working for that. But when you're doing it, it's about getting a feeling. It's about in your own head going, how do I feel? You know, shutting your eyes and saying, I do feel like I'm opening out. I do feel like I've got the connection and then I move. I do feel like I hear the flywheel go, woo. Okay, it doesn't feel like it goes, uh, or wee, right? It's, it's really getting that, that rhythm. Okay, and it's really good sometimes to row with that uh, force curve on because you can see the change. You can see it go up. Okay, and we just don't worry about if it's like the spike, if it's if the peak's a little bit left of center, right of center. We just want that to be smooth. Okay, if you can try and get it smooth, then it doesn't matter how you look. If it's looking a bit raggly, you know, because it's taking a dot every bloody point zero something of a second. Um, if that looks smooth, if it looks like a dark line rather than like a bloody dot matrix all around. Okay, that gives that shows us that we're in a really good place with that smoothness of our drive. Okay, and smoothness of the drive is just revolutions of the flywheel. It's just maintaining and using our bodies to just to just really create that speed and that momentum of the machine. Okay, but great workout. Okay, better see the chat. I see old Robo's back in here. Uh, I row with the force curve on 100% time now. So do I, pal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always have, okay, and it's nice, okay, I do like it. Um, hi, Eric, most of this AM will be riding this workout. Uh, nah, awesome, thanks, Michael. Um, yeah, it's, it, is, it is something to look at, right? There's, there's a few things on the machine you can do. There's very minimal exercise. We can do a bit, um, obviously play with drag factor, but sometimes using that force curve just really does give you an, a, an appreciation for what's happening in your drive, okay? And as I've said before, there's nothing wrong. Set your phone up, okay? Set your phone up, like do a, do, well, whatever. Do some session, whatever. 
And then at the end, set the phone up, put it on a seat, put it on, row, and just go like, I'm going to row for two minutes <coughs> at 20 or 22 or even in between, whatever. And then just, you watch the pause curve. Don't worry about your phone. Um, and then as you finish, then you can have a look at the video and you can say, yeah, force curve felt pretty good through there. Second part might have been a bit shit, whatever. But then you can look at it and say, oh, there it is. Okay, I start figuring that out. I start seeing what I need to. Okay, because it's very hard when you're sitting on here to, like, yeah, you can feel it, but it's not until you see it from a visual outside that you can start to understand what we're actually doing. Okay? Uh, and how can we participate if we're not in the UK? Oh, tell us about the bricks. Yeah. Uh, British Rowing Indoor Championships. Okay. Um, we'll be doing some sessions from here forward. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we'll do a couple a week. I'll put a video online during the week and then live streams will complement basically the recommit program. Um, it'd be, be pretty similar, probably 30 odd minutes in time. Um, just focusing technique and stuff again. Okay. So great. Um, there isn't a, a brick virtual medal challenge i think robo so um have a look on great british rowing website um a sensei website probably going to have the links and stuff as well um but i'll also get ross and the team to chuck it into the newsletter um because i know that the championships are an in-person event only um <clears throat> but there is uh like a a virtual challenge thing that you can do on the side uh, so yeah, so that'll be that's basically the case. Okay, thanks, Alan. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, honestly, thanks everyone for being here. We'll keep these up. Plenty to do. Come back. Keep rowing. Okay, keep trying. Keep working on things. As I say, I think one of the best things to do is to film some stuff for yourself. Have a look, um, and then just come back every day. Try it. Try something different. I mean, not every day. A couple of days, right? And just try new things. Try. Just get exercises, just figure out, you know, just row for two or three minutes, changing things, changing things to get a feeling, okay? Because as I've always said, I've always said, it's very easy to learn something new, but it's very, very difficult to break the old habits, okay? And that's the idea, breaking old habits, especially when we start getting under the pump like we did there. Okay, right. That's enough from me. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. Thank you very much from me and the Sensei team. And we'll see you guys back here later, right? I'm sweaty, can't brush out, and a cleaner, right? Peace out. See you soon.